All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just Shalom to all the Akim out here, or the hope, the elect, I should say, that's doing and pushing the word in truth and sincerity. Um, basically, I want to go on this lesson on you can't make yourself a man or a woman of the Lord, okay? Uh, pretty much, the Lord has an um has an elect that he uh chose from the very beginning of the earth, okay? And that's pretty much what I'm going to go in on this lesson, okay? Um, I pulled up the word destiny, which the word destiny uh came in the mid 14th century, uh, which is the uh etymology of destiny. It says from the uh, old French. Uh, which means purpose, intent, fate, destiny, that which is destined. Um, make firm, establish. Um, the sense of that, I mean, the sense is of that which has been firmly established. It's by fate, okay? Then it goes into predestination, which came in the mid-14th century also. The action of God, which we know is his name is uh, Yahweh. And for ordaining, okay, before everything was was created, okay, going to this word for ordain, okay, um, it says of God or fate, appoint or decree something beforehand. So before everything was created, before people were born, okay, the the Lord, uh basically made you know uh he he made and chose who his people was before everything was made okay it says uh the action of god reading it verbatim and for ordaining certain of mankind through grace to salvation or eternal life okay so it's only certain people okay that are predestined to receive this grace Onto salvation or everlasting life. Everybody does does not have grace, man. Okay, everybody is not going to re uh, achieve salvation or eternal life. Okay, um, it says a determining beforehand, um, set before is a goal, a point, or determined beforehand, um, a point determined. Okay, and that's pretty much the point on that. Okay, so with that said, I want to go ahead and get into the lesson. Uh, Luke 1 and 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, okay, what's the word prophesied means to say before uh, something happens, okay? Um, prophesied, saying, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And have raised up a, a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Okay, so uh, this was spoken by the Lord's prophets, okay, the ones who were saying things to happen before they happened since the world since the world began. Okay. Um that we should should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Okay, so this, the prophecy of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus was prophesied to come way before this world uh, began, man. Okay, um, well, when, when the world began, I should say. Um, 1 Peter 1 and 8, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversations, uh, received by tradition from your fathers, okay, which, you know, is a, a, a person that is a man of the Lord, okay, you, you can't, you can't say that, uh, you know, you, you, you was, uh, you, you, you serving the Lord if you're still following that, the traditions, you know, uh, of America and the ways that this world is, is, uh, is going, you know? Um, which you have a lot of people that, you know, are, uh, 
are are uh, basically fooled by their own vain opinion, you know what I'm saying, or deceived, I should say, Satan deceived the world, you know, and a lot of people think that they just wake up, go to church, and they, they are already good, you know, or that they are already cho uh, uh, saved, I should say, you know, where the Lord has to call you out of whatever you've been doing, okay, so um, you have to be redeemed, okay, uh, to be brought back and to the knowledge of who you are, according to the scriptures, okay, um, with the but, but with the precious blood of Yahweh Shah is of a land without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, okay, which he was um ordained, okay, before the before the world even began, Yahweh Shah, okay, was was meant to come to do what he did, you know, as a, uh, you know, uh, uh, to be a savior, you know, onto uh, the the chosen elect of Israel, okay, but ultimately onto uh, Israel as a whole, okay, but we're talking about the elect of Israel uh, right now, okay, the, uh, the ones that, you know, uh, the certain of mankind, that receive that grace onto to salvation, the ones that are going to be saved. Everybody is not going to be saved. Okay? It says, Who who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was made I mean, but was manifest in these last times for you. Okay? Who who by him do believe in Yahweh that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in Yahweh. Okay? Um, going into the next verse, John 15, 15 and 16, you have not chosen me. Okay. So you can't just wake up and say, oh, I just want to serve the Lord today. You know, I'm going to be a man of the Lord today. You know, that's not how it works, but you have a lot of people that do that. It says you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Okay. Let me see what this word ordained says. Strong's G, 5087, Tithemi. Tithemi. It says Tithemi, okay? To set, put, place, uh, to place or lay, to put down, lay down, to bend down, to lay off or aside, to weigh or carry no longer, to lay by, lay aside money, to set on, serve something to, to eat or drink, Okay, going on it says to make to make or set for oneself or for one's use. Okay, to set, fix, establish, to set forth, establish, ordain. Okay, so basically the Lord is the scripture continues. Okay, which you know it says to set or or for one uh, to make for oneself or for one's use. Right, it says uh, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you, okay, I made you for myself, okay, that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That what whatsoever you ask of in the Father in my name, he may give you, okay. And when you go into the red letter, okay, when well you put red letter, you know, right here on the, um, the uh, screen, you know, uh, it's, these are the words of Yahweh Shah. Okay, he said that you 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 have not chosen me, so you can't make yourself a man of the Lord. Okay, uh, the Lord chose who He want, and He ordained the people that He chose to bring forth fruit. Okay, that which are the people that are you know uh, good for repentance, which is the the elect. Okay, um, Second Timothy one and eight. Be not thou ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, uh, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of God, right? Was a part of the afflictions is, you know, being hated uh, by everybody for the, for the Lord's sake. You know, that's that's how you know that you know you you you're chosen. You know, especially for the for the Lord's name's sake. Um, going out uh teaching his word you know uh you might you might end up losing everything man for this truth 
okay? So you're not supposed to be ashamed of the testimony, you know, of coming into this truth, you know, the things that are going to happen. You're not supposed to be ashamed of that, man, especially if you're a man of the Lord. It says, who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, okay? So it ain't about, oh, I go, I wake up, I go to church, or I wake up, I go out to, you know, do the work, you know, or I keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. Um, that's, that's not, uh, that's not what saves us, man. You know, uh, it says, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh Shah before the world began. So the, 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 the elect, okay, the chosen of the elect, you know, or the chosen people of, uh, Israel, okay, was, was, uh, was basically sealed up to receive this this word before the world began. Okay? Um so with with the scripture it says uh not according to our works, right? But then you have this scripture 1 Corinthians 9 and 14. Even so have the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel shall live of the gospel. So we preach this word, okay, but that means we also have to live this word, okay? Which, you know, is this, this if, if you're a man of the Lord, it's going to sow, you know, through your actions, you know, the things that you say, the things that you do, okay, your, your faith, okay, that's how you know who, who's really of the, 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 the Lord's, you know, or how you can discern, you know, more so who, who the Lord chosen people are, okay, um, first Peter two and nine, but you are a chosen generation, okay, and this 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 is pretty much the point, man. You know? Uh a royal priesthood, okay, which you know, we we telling people, you know, how to serve the Lord, okay, the elect is gonna get it, you know. Um we're going to this word royal, which we are royal people, man. Okay. Um uh it says this number was incorrectly assigned by Mr. Strong. Please see the the prior entry. Uh, 933 for the data connected to this word word but when you go into the strongest definition it says kingly and nature you know um we're the future uh kings okay and uh, um of this world man okay the future kings and priests it says an holy nation a set apart nation the ones that you know have this truth you know, different from everybody in this world, okay, a peculiar people, which you have a lot of different people that came into this truth, different walks of life, okay, that you should so forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, okay, and I, I, what is the darkness, man, you know, a lot of people don't understand what that darkness is, which, you know, that darkness is this world, a lot of people, you know, come into the to, to the knowledge and they still uh pretty much a part of the darkness, man. Okay? Um which we all we all was, you know, living that uh crazy life, you know? A lot of us wasn't born into the knowledge of being um a Israelite, you know, according to the scriptures, you know? So so our lives growing up was was darkness you know calling ourselves african-american or mexican or puerto rican or whatever the case may be instead of going by the terms that's that are inside the scriptures and living by every word that is written in the bible okay so we all were in darkness at a point in time okay um some of us had had a lot of pride but you had to remove that pride some of us may have been a man in the world but when you come into this truth you know, you got to, you got to, uh, you know, humble yourself. Some of us may, may have been nothing in the world, you know, and then some people want to come into this truth and act like they the, they the man and stuff. You know, you still have to humble yourself, man. Okay. Um, this is Romans 11 and five. Even so at this present time, uh, because the, the, the Lord has a chosen people or chosen generation, you know, Kings. Okay. It says, even so at this present time, also 
there is a remnant, okay, only a, a, a certain few of people that are going to come back onto the Lord. You know, you have the 144,000, okay, which the, the Lord's men, and do you have the one third, okay? Um, also, there is a remnant according to the election, okay, going to this word election, because we go into this word all the time, okay? The, it says the act, I'm going to play the, the strong. Strong's G, 1589, Eclage, Eclage. It says Eclage, okay, it says the act of picking out, choosing, of the act of God's free will by which the, before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons. Okay, which that goes into the predestination. Okay, Decre decree that made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Yahweh's side by grace alone. Okay, so everybody does not have grace. Okay. Um, a thing or person chosen of persons God's elect, okay? And I hope that, you know, with with all my spirit, man, you know, everything that is in me, that I, I, I hope that I'm a part of the Lord's elect, man, you know? As well as the, uh, you know, the apostles and the elders and the um, brothers that I do and push the work with, you know? And I pray that brothers are of the elect that we actually... You know, got it right, you know, which, hey, through the spirit, I, you know, I feel like, you know, brothers are, you know, you're going to have some people that, you know, uh, fall off, go into the world and stuff like that. But, hey, the scriptures say what they say, you know, that it's only a certain people that are of the, the Lord's elect, the uh, according to the election of grace. Okay. With, when you go into the word grace. Okay. Play the. Uh. Strong's G, 5485, Charis, Charis. And it says Charis, okay, which is uh, grace, that which affords joy, pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, loveliness, grace of speech, goodwill, loving kindness, favor of the merciful kindness by which Yahweh, exerting his holy influence upon souls, turns them to Yahweh Shah, Keeps, strengthens, increasing them in Christian faith for the Hebrew Israelite knowledge. Okay. Um, knowledge, affection, and kindles them to the exercise of the uh, Hebrew Israelite uh, virtues. Okay. Which the Hebrew Israelite virtues come from, come through Yahweh's shop. Okay. It says, what is due to grace, the spiritual condition of one governed by the power of divine grace. Okay, the token or proof of grace, benefit, a gift of grace, benefit, bounty, thanks for benefits, services, favors, recompense, reward. Okay, and hey, it's a blessing, man, to, to be in this truth. You know what I'm saying? First off, that it's a blessing to even know that you're an Israelite, man, to even be an Israelite in the first place. Okay, but to know that you're an Israelite, you know, that's that's a part of uh of, of, of grace, man. Okay, and and the fact that you have you have the, the 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 right doctrine, and the Lord you know is showing joy or pleasure to you even though you you don't deserve what what the Lord gave you. Okay, we don't deserve none of this stuff, man. This isn't this isn't by our own will that you know we 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 got the stuff that we got, man. Okay, the clothes on our backs. You know, it's all about being humble, man. You know, the fact that we 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 able to to eat, you know, anything in this fucking uh, wicked ass society, man. You know, this food is polluted, man. And the fact that the Lord, you know, what I'm saying, you serving the Lord, and He still find a way to to show grace onto you, man. Okay, that's a beautiful thing, man. Because it's not it's not of our own will, man. Okay. So to be a part of the elect, man, that's that's to be your your really only your only hope, man. You know the only thing that you really work working for. Okay, it says, and if by grace, then is it no more of works? So you still got to do the works, man. It says otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work. 
So works and grace, man, work hand in hand, man. Okay? You coming to this truth, you have to understand, man, that the Lord, you know, chose you. You got to do what the heck you got to do, man. But the Lord is still going to show you favor, man. You know, which we don't we don't deserve this favor, man. Or this love that, that we getting from the Lord, man. Okay? Um, Isaiah 14 and 26. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. Okay? And this is all the Lord's purpose, man, that, you know, the, 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 the elect, you know, is going to bring forth that fruit. You know, the Lord is going to get his, his praise. Okay? He, his glory. It says, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations, which, which that hand that is, is going to uh, come back and, 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 and save and deliver his chosen elect, man. Okay? But it's also going to destroy two-thirds of Israel. Who are, who are living wickedly, man. Okay, it's also going to destroy Esau, the so-called white man in these other nations. Okay, for the Lord of hosts has purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Okay, so, hey, even though we don't deserve this shit, man, you know, the Lord still stretched his hand out, you know, and he's still uh, showing mercy onto us, man. You know, on to his elect, I should say. You know, which hopefully I'm a part of that number. Okay, and I'm going to get two more scriptures. Okay, Ephesians 1 and 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Yahweh Shah. Okay? And, and and the ones who, who are, you know, doing this work, okay, y'all, we are the ones who first trusted in the Lord, man, okay? We are the ones who first trusted in the Lord. You got these people who sit up there and they, you know, saying that they believe in Jesus, man. They wasn't uh, believing in the Lord, man. The the, the so-called white man didn't first trust in the Lord when he came on the scene. You can look in the scriptures and see that, man, okay? These people are the ones who killed the Lord, man. It says, in whom ye, ye also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Okay? Which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Okay? Which, you know, the Lord is going to come back and redeem you know, the ones who, who he, he he chose, man, okay, from out of this wicked society, which is known as America or Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, okay, and this is all the glory, well, all the praise, honor, and glory has to go to Yahweh Shem Yahweh man, okay, when the Lord puts a, a wicked person to death, that's praise, honor, and glory going to the Lord, man. Okay, because we could have been that, that person that the Lord put to death, man. Okay. Um, Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Okay. Which you're going to have some people who come into this knowledge and know that there is rights and stuff. But those people, you know, were were of old ordained to, to the condemnation of the Lord. It says, ungodly men turning the grace of our Lord, or of, of Yahweh into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Okay, the only Lord, Yahweh. Okay, which a lot of people even look at that, man. Like, you know, they, they look at that scripture where it talks about, um, I am the Lord and there is none beside me. Well, this scripture says that there is only one, you know, the only, denying the only Lord God, man. Okay? It says, and our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Okay? So you have people that are non-Messianics, people that even come into the, the truth of being Israelites and stuff, uh, people that are in great millstone that may not be men of the Lord. You have a lot of people, period, that are not going to make it, man. Just because that's the, the order that the Lord set up. Okay? So with that, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying. 
you can't make yourself a man of the Lord. You know, you can't you can't make yourself of the elect. It's through the through the spirit that that you either are or you aren't. But if you are of the elect, you're going you're going to you're going to be living according to this gospel. Okay, and you're going to be doing the works. But the works that you do, you know what I'm saying, don't get don't get you. You know, it's this the grace and mercy that the Lord put on us, man. Okay? For doing his work. You know, hopefully that's understanding. You know, but with that I want to say Salawam.